Who's ready for a sales pitch? Because we're going to talk about minor availability and how you can get some more by January. We're also going to talk about if you're having issues with your Bobcat. I managed to get mine working with the fast sync. So we're going to do a quick little refresher about fast syncing your Bobcat if you had the issues that I've had in the past week because we had a stellar day yesterday after doing these fixes. So stay tuned. Nerdy dude stuff. For those of you keeping track at home, today's drink of the day is brought to you by Brew Bus Brewing. This is basic blank, which we all know it means just basic bitch, because this is a pumpkin spice milk stout latte. Ooh, this beverage is very basic. Tis the season for the pumpkin spice latte. So look out, Starbucks. You have a beautifully drinkable milk stout latte style pumpkin spice drink that doesn't have any of the bitterness of coffee and is incredibly delicious. Cheers to you guys. I am a basic white bar. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, helium mining, and all that good stuff. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as we post videos weekly and we do a stream every Monday about helium miner placement, how you can improve, what kind of antennas you should look into, and so on and so forth. Couple of updates and announcements for the channel before we get into our topics. First off, we have t-shirts that we sell. Link is in the description of this video. We are currently designing our Shut Up Copper t-shirt. Here's a sneak peek at the pose you're going to see. Oh, shut up. We are just waiting for our designer to come back with what we gave him to see how it's going to look before we slap that bad boy on a t-shirt and we start trying to sell it to you guys. So stay tuned for that coming very soon. Next up, two days from now, two days from now, this is not a planet video, but I want to do a reminder that BitMart will be listing the planet tokens, which hopefully on that time frame we'll be able to get them mining with our sensors. And there's a link for BitMart down below if you haven't signed up or registered. Go ahead and click there. Get yourself ready. No KYC was needed when I did that or anything like that. So just get ready to get your licenses and get those sensors on and start collecting your rewards. A video for that will be here in the near future. All right. So we're going to take a look here at my past week in helium mining. We have two Bobcat miners, and we're also going to be showing some proof about Helium Mart with the mile site and them being officially listed as a mile site distributor. Even though the mile site uh, miners aren't listed on Helium yet, they are currently have been produced. They just aren't available to send out just until that approval goes through, which we're looking at in November. So we're going to take a look at that as well but i also wanted to make sure i did a refresher on all of you bobcat owners such as myself you guys know i like to present this channel to you in an experience that i've gone through where i go through trials and troubles and problem solving and testing and failing and so on and so forth to make sure i give you guys the smoothest experience and last time we did this, uh, we did a fast sync video, which we're going to just reference that. We're not going to do a whole new one, so you guys can click on that later. We'll point that out here shortly. But wait, when we did that fast uh, sync video, Bobcat came out and said, don't really fast sync or anything like that. So you guys know that I've got the idiot helium miner over at my in-law's house that likes to go down a lot. And you'll see the difference in the results, but we finally got that fired back up up as well so let's jump over let's take a look at our helium mart and our mile site sales pitch and all that jazz and also take a look at helium and how you can quickly get it fast synced with as smooth limited uh resources needed to make sure you keep getting all that helium unfortunately this doesn't work for rack or minted or calchip or sense cap or link dot or nebra or all that stuff this is for us bobcats because even though uh bobcats have better memory it seems like they're going down more like than they are actually up mining and so we want to make Make sure we get that fixed because that's what we have if we had those other miners listed obviously we can bring you better content on how to fix those and trial and error those but i can't fix something if i don't have it so i don't want to give you false information so let's jump over to the computer screen all right so here we have mile site internet of things.com in their blog recently stating uh mile site helium hotspot authorized reseller mile site authorized reseller since there are many scammers on the market we would like to clarify the mile site helium hotspot authorized resellers for the sake of our customers here's a list of authorized resellers that carry authentic mile site low one hotspot 
Bulgaria, Helium Mart brought to you by Q Online Ltd, HeliumMart.com. We have in Italy, uh, Marcom SRL. In Spain, we have Matec Miner SL. And then in the USA, we've got Fast Miners Ltd. I'm very familiar with Fast Miners because that's where we managed to get our deeper mini from. So it's good to see them there. If you guys do want to get yourself one of these mile sites, Helium Mart does have a very limited supply. I believe batch two is just about sold out. They're going to be sending out to like the first half of batch one at the end of November and the second half of batch uh and the, the first batch in the beginning of november or the end of november and the second batch at the end of december but i've also been informed that they are listing another huge batch this is a much bigger batch and they're going to be uh it's confirmed from mile site end of january so if you guys didn't get one of those i know that there was some hesitation it looked very scammy and my whole video was very shilly and sales pitchy you're damn right because they're giving us one for free so that way we can do a giveaway and we're going to have details on that and then we are going to have our hands on this to get it going so we can have a third miner as well but they also updated ways of uh payment i know there was the bank transfer so it was a little weird they haven't added crypto as their payment but now they have stripe and they have swift and all that jazz so it's a little easier and it's a lot more user friendly versus just that bank transfer and going through MoneyGram and so on and so forth. So if you do want to get yourself one of these, you can jump down to the link in the description and you can find my code. It's nerdy dude stuff. When you go to purchase one of these and you have one in your cart, you just click on this little shopping bag up here. So you go on the shopping bag up here, which I don't have anything in my cart. I'll refresh the screen. At the bottom, it'll say view cart. You click on view cart and then in that section, you'll be able to put the code nerdy dude stuff to save yourself like 3% on this my and I do, of course, get a small kickback for that, and which is why I'm, you know, shilling and selling and being a salesman and oh, right, yeah. Anywho, so let's take a quick look at my current miners right now. Pretty soon we will have that mile site added here. I'm excited to see what that name is going to be. But as of recently, Sour Walnut Goat had been a herp derp. They did have that OTA where they came out and said, don't reset your miner. It's automatically going to do it. But this bad boy was down for like four days of the week, and I was, it was driving me nuts. It was on a red light. It was not synced. It kept falling behind, and it was just it was just stupid. So what I did is I let the OTA go through, and I went and actually fast synced it. I didn't reboot it. I didn't reset it. I just straight up fast synced it yesterday morning i believe it was and if we go back into the previous day you could see as of that fast sync it's currently october the 21st on october the 20th we made almost half a helium after that fast sync today's a little bit slower because we're making 0.14 but after that we were able to start firing back off and if we go into the 30-day stretch you could see here that this miner has just been a herp derp we only have four helium going for it no matter how well our setup is you can only see the two witnesses we only wanted it to witness my other miner right here it's a bonus we we got this guy but you could see there's a couple of stretches in this 30 day time frame where this thing has been down for a few days and that has severely impacted the helium that i was also potentially earning or could have earned over on my main hot spot which is here in my house which Usually when I do my streams, I say if you make over 10 helium in a 30-day time frame, I consider that successful, and I don't usually give a lot of advice or placement. Maybe we can be making more than our 10 in the 30 days on this one, but this is exactly what I want to see. You know, I want to practice what I preach and so on and so forth. We might try an 8.0 DBI antenna on this one and the other one shortly, but I do like my placement and everything now. But you can see the difference between my idiot brother hotspot down the road versus my one here. And I don't even do anything with this one. It just sits in my garage. I don't fart around with it. You can see we're pulling 0 0.65, 0 0.67 helium. We did have that one off day on the 19th when that OTA came out. 0 0.71 helium, 0.27. We've had a very good week with this miner. We've had a very good 30 days, and we've actually had a pretty solid 24 hours with it. So it's very key on that placement. And again, for the update, if you guys are looking for antennas, uh, the Helium Mart, the mile site will be coming with a 1.5 dBi antenna. I am going to automatically update that to one of my 5.8s, and then I'm also gonna be purchasing an 8.0 dBi antenna from Rack Wireless here, just so that way I'm gonna purchase an 8.0, and then I'm gonna probably put that on my miner down at my in-law's house, make sure that's straight up in the air, and then I'm gonna put this 5.8 that I'm taking from there on the mile site, which is going to be put at my dad's. And of course, we are going to be using USA Coax for our, um, our, our LMR 400 cable. And I believe there is a $5 off code where if you use he, the, the word helium on checkout, you get $5 off. I didn't do it. I don't get anything from it. So I just saw one of my commenters say that. So I wanted to make sure I brought that to you guys. 
Now, last but not least, as a quick refresher, just because of that fast sync, what we did on this video, the title is How to Speed Up Helium Minor Sync Times. I posted on September 14th, so just over a month ago. There is a step-by-step -step guide right at the 7 minute and 55 second mark on how you can set up your miner into fast sync. It's really simple. It's really easy. All you do is pull up a browser like this. You find your miner's IP address. You plug in that IP address, and then you scroll down on that screen. You can see this better in this video, and you hit... Um, uh, whereas it? it's going to have uh, fast sync down down here at the bottom underneath the bar, but there's it's out of alpha phase, so you can hit fast sync, and then you're just going to need to do uh, type in I agree, and then it's going to need a username and password. The username is Bobcat, password is minor, all in lowercase, and then it's going to give you a fast sync, and it takes about 30 minutes. Light goes yellow, everything fires back on, and that's exactly what happened with my minor down yeah, where we actually managed to have a good day. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about that, feel free to reach out to me on Discord, Telegram, or Twitter. I definitely prefer Discord or Twitter. Telegram, I know like four people Telegram yesterday I haven't responded to them, which I'm going to now after this video since I just remembered, but at least like Discord, I'm usually in there. I, that's where I spend most of my time. I usually have it pulled up on my computer while I'm playing my PlayStation 5, and that's where I like to respond the most. It's just a lot more organized for me. So any questions, comments, or concerns about setting up FastSync or getting your miners up and running a little bit better, reach out to me there. Anywho, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far and haven't hit that like button, definitely hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, please take a moment to consider subscribing. Turn on the bell notifications when we post videos weekly and stream every Monday. Anywho, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, all that good stuff. I'm a prize. We'll see you guys next time. Hi. Do you or a loved one suffer from being a basic bitch? Are you obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes? Own a pair of Ugg boots? Or just go crazy at the mention of pumpkin spice? Well, don't worry. The season's almost over. We'll get back to regular manly beers. But until then... Basic bitch.